Hello, my name is Josh Merhar, and today I'm going to show you a few exercises you can use to help improve your timing. So we're going to use five and seven note groupings and place them against a quarter note in the bass drum and then against a half note in the bass drum. And it's just going to help you internalize your sense of this pulse. The five beat pattern we are going to take is pretty much an inversion of a five stroke roll. So we're going to have the single stroke first. That sticking will be right, left, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, left. But we're going to keep everything at one rhythmic rate. So those patterns are going to kind of run into each other. So we're going to have right, left, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, left, right, left, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, left. And we'll kind of have the same thing for the seven note grouping as well. It'll be a seven stroke roll with the single out front. Right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right, left, left, right, right, left, left. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take that five beat grouping and we are going to place the entire pattern into a 16th note subdivision. And we will have that on top of a quarter note in the bass drum to get started. Now since we're taking a five note grouping and placing it in 16th notes, the pattern doesn't resolve every beat. It actually takes five beats for the right hand to land on beat one again. That's gonna sound like this. Next, we are going to have this five note grouping in 16th notes placed over a half note in the bass drum. So when we have the half note in the bass drum, it's going to take two full measures for the right hand to line up with the bass drum on beat one. And that's going to sound like this. We could also take that five beat pattern and place it into a triplet subdivision. That five stroke pattern as eighth note triplets on top of a quarter note in the bass drum will sound like this. And that five beat pattern in triplets on top of a half note in the bass drum will sound like this.
Now we're going to do the same exact thing with that seven stroke grouping. So that seven stroke grouping will resolve one time every seven beats. It's going to take that long for the right hand to land on beat one again. Seven stroke grouping as 16th notes on top of the quarter note in the bass drum will sound like this. And that seven stroke grouping on top of a half note in the bass drum will sound like this. And this is going to take two full measures of seven in order for everything to resolve on beat one. We'll do the same thing with triplets. We're going to take that seven beat pattern and place it in eighth note triplets on top of a quarter note in the bass drum, and that will sound like this. Now we're going to take that seven beat grouping in triplets and place it on top of a half note in the bass drum. So by taking these odd numbered groupings and placing them into 16th notes and triplets, you're really going to help improve your sense of the quarter note. You're just going to have a very, very solid internal idea of where this pulse is going to be all the time. And that makes it much easier to kind of manipulate time and play over the beat and over the bar line. And it just opens up so many possibilities for phrasing more than anything. Go slow at first when practicing, use a metronome, use a metronome, use a metronome. Transcriptions of these exercises are available on my Patreon page. If you haven't checked out my Patreon page, I highly encourage you to do so. It's a really good way for you to support me directly, and I'm trying to make a little bit of money off of this stuff. Patreon makes it possible. Thank you very much for watching, happy practicing, and I will see you next time.